Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make three easy and simple gift boxes for your friends and your family this holiday season. Starting with the first DIY, we are going to be making a Pillsbury sugar cookie gift box. You are going to need some cardboard. Here I am using a cereal box. You are also going to be needing a circular object and you are going to trace that twice on the cardboard and cut it out. You are going to have two circles that are the same size, however we need one to be smaller than the other. So I'm going to draw a smaller circle on the inside and then cut it out. You are going to need two different size strips of cardboard. This one is 2 inches and this one is half an inch. Grab the smaller circle and the 2 inch strip and you are going to bend it so it is easier to wrap around the circle. I'm going to hot glue it to secure it and then I'm going to glue it onto the base of the smaller circle using my hot glue gun. If there are any gaps, you can use hot glue to fill it in and this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to be repeating the same process with the bigger circle and the smaller strip. I am bending it and getting it ready to be wrapped around the circle. And then I am going to glue it to the base of the circle, just like I did with the last one. This is what it should look like. And now we have the lid of the container and the base of the container. And both of them should fit onto each other very snug, just like this. Now we move on to the fun part, which is painting the sugar cookie onto the lid of the container. I'm going to be using a lot of white paint, and I'm going to be mixing in a little bit of yellow paint and a little bit of brown paint, and that should create this tan color that is similar to a sugar cookie. Next, once that first layer dries, I'm going to be using my pencil, and I'm going to be sketching out the sugar cookie print that is on the Pillsbury cookies, and then I'm going to be painting that with some red and brown paint, and I'm going to be following a picture off of Google to make sure that I am referencing it correctly. This is how mine turned out, and now I'm going to be painting the inside of the container. I'm going to be painting the inside black, but of course you can use whatever color you want. Just know that the lighter the color, the more coats you have to do. And this is how mine came out. For the next DIY, we are going to be making a Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cake box. To start off, you're going to need some cardboard. Again, I'm going to be using the same cereal box, and you're going to need to draw this pattern onto it and cut it out with scissors. Make sure you cut the flaps like this. It'll make it way easier when we're assembling the box. I'm going to be folding each side upward, and each of those flaps are going to be used to secure the box just like this. I'm going to hot glue it and secure it to each of the flaps on every side. This is how your box should look, and now I'm going to be placing it onto a blank piece of cardboard and tracing it using a pencil. Now I'm going to be drawing a Christmas tree that overlaps the box. I cut small strips out of cardboard that were the same size of each side of the box, and I'm going to be gluing it onto each side just like this, onto the piece that has the Christmas tree on it. Make sure each corner is secured, and it should look something like this. Now I'm going to be cutting all of this out around the Christmas tree and you should have a piece just like this. Both pieces should be able to fit perfectly together. And now we are going to be painting the Christmas tree part. I'm starting with white and I needed three coats of paint for this because the lighter of color, the more paint you are going to use. And I'm also painting the other piece of the box white as well. Once those layers dry, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and some red paint and I'm going to be drawing those stripes just like it is on the Little Debbie Christmas cake. And then I'm going to be adding those green sprinkles on there as well. This is how it looked when it was all dried. And now we are ready to assemble our box. And this is what it looks like when both pieces are together. For the next DIY, we are going to be making this gingerbread house box. I'm going to be using the same cereal box and I'm going to be drawing out a template for me to cut. Of course you guys can screenshot this and trace it onto your own paper. You are going to cut it out and you should have something that looks like this. Then you are going to fold each side upwards and we are going to secure it using some hot glue. And your box should look something like this. Of course, you can leave the brown part on the outside if you did not want to paint it or you like the way it looks. Next, I'm going to be using a smaller piece of cardboard and making sure it fits on the top part of my house. I'm going to be pinching it to create a triangle shape and I'm going to be marking where it overlaps on my box so that way I can trim it down to size. 
The roof should fit nicely onto the top of the house just like this. And now I'm going to be using my pencil to mark off where the roof touches the house. You should have two markings that look just like this and I'm going to cut out two strips of cardboard and glue it right onto those lines that we marked. These tabs will make sure that the roof does not slide off of the box and will secure it onto the top of the house. Now we will be able to paint our gingerbread house, so I'm going to be using brown. If you use the other side of the box, you wouldn't have to paint the outside brown, but since I didn't think about it, I have to paint it. I'm going to be using a smaller brush to add details such as a door, windows, and frosting and gumdrops. Make sure to make this as colorful as you want. You can add anything you want to it and make it all you. These are cute containers that you can use to put jewelry, candy, or money to give to your friends, your family, your teachers, your friends at school. And it's a great way to just dress up a container and make it feel really special and unique so that way they know that you put a lot of thought into your gift. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comments if you guys plan on using these for this holiday season. Of course, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!